Good afternoon, Lace Jeff and I've John Sisbidi, a true note of welcome to Ooblets. Oh, I've been looking forward to this one. So, okay, if you know nothing about Ooblets, here's the one fact you need to know to understand what we're getting into here, which is uh, at one point during its development, Ooblets was about going around, uh, making friends with Ooblets, and then having fights with them like you would in, say, Pokemon. But at one point, they just decided that didn't feel right. So now, instead of fighting, the Ooblets settle their differences in a friendly dance-off. And that there, that's the sort of positive energy we could all do with more of in our lives right now. Okay, fresh off the boat onto Ooblet Island, it's time for me to start my new Ooblet life and be the very best like no one ever was or something like that. That feels about right to me. First objective, let's hang on. Those look like Ooblets over there. You can tell because they look edible, but you're not supposed to eat them. The game's very clear on this. Do not eat the Ooblets, no matter how much they're blatantly food. Instead, we talk to people. Marvellous. Hello, who are you and do you want to be my new Ooblet friend? Digging that whole deal you got going on at very confused chic. Oh, I do try. Thank you for noticing. Yeah, I'm fresh in town. I'm just saying hello and people are just tossing free stuff at me. This is marvellous. Aha, I've also got a journal that lets me keep track of things. Though, can't a bit notice over on the, um, the Ooblets page. Yeah, the instructions simply say, follow babies, then home babies, which... Sounds a little bit sinister, I'm sure it's not, but you know, follow babies is a sinister instruction to give somebody. And the mayor herself has decided to introduce me to Ooblets. So, clubs, little social groups that have their own themes and personalities. Okay, where's the nerd one? Just put me into the nerd one right now and we'll be good. Okay, the fun buns, we're delightful. Cuties who love cute things, uh, not sure about that. Peak snubs don't do pitches, you should be pitching to me. Born leaders, strong competitors, generally successful people. With Bittle, a very grumpy beetle. Okay, I'm going to be honest, I like the fact that you appear to be utterly miserable in a world of otherwise cheerful loveliness. That's quite good. Alternatively, oh, clever people who aren't very good at social interactions. Done, give me your stupid robot and let's go. Alternatively, if you like adventure and outdoors, pass. I didn't anticipate you'd pick Mimpins, but hopefully you'll be satisfied with your choice. I will be Vidion. You know why? Because when these losers have died of coronavirus, you're gonna be fine, alright? Appreciate the helmet. Good work. And he's gonna give me a free Ooblet. Okay, was it the weird robot one I just saw? Do I get a lid? Oh my goodness, I get a tiny adorable robot! Yes, vastly superior to a stupid mushroom, I get a robot instead. And in fact, Ooblets enjoy dancing so much that humans on this island are dedicated to setting up elaborate, contrived, competitive dance scenarios for them to show off in. 10 out of 10, game of the year. Okay, time to take on a lump stump in a dance-off. And uh, I'm gonna be honest, he's a stupid tree creature and I'm literally a robot. So if you consider who's gonna be effective out of Chainsaw versus tree. Well, there's a lot of data suggesting Chainsaw's gonna kick your flipping ass. No, John, not kick his ass. Friendly dance off because everybody enjoys dancing. So every time we draw random dance moves, okay. You have some basic moves that'll always be available. And then each Oobla has its own unique move. So yes, activate Chainsaw mode, flipping love it. And everybody comes to join in the dancing around the outside because they love dancing so much. With some experience, they can learn new moves. Okay, so far, so very Pokemon. Moves cost beats, you get fresh beats to use each turn. Oh, okay, didn't realise it was going to be action pointy, but that's fair enough. So I need to get up to 20 points before my opponent does, because yes, we're not attacking each other, we're just doing dance moves. So three action points, so that'll be for all three points, a total of eight. Alternatively, yeah, that's only seven, so that's not as good. But hype increases the power of dance moves. Okay, that's... that's interesting. The question is, uh, yeah, does finite loop get carried over? Okay, let's test that right now. We're going to be doing a hype straight away. So I'm going to be becoming more powerful going forward. Boom. And I'm also going to, yeah, put in a finite loop, which hopefully will carry over to my next turn. So that's the end, and my turn right there. He is going to gain three points. Wow, and a hype. Dear, oh flippin' dear. So do I now have a double? 
and add a move to my hand if I was to need it. That's one for three. That's not terrible, to be perfectly honest. And that is uh, gain a beat. Okay, beats are... Ah! Okay, so that's an extra action point this turn. That's honestly not bad. I may as well use that, to be honest. Because it seems like my hand is uh, thrown away at the end of it. So, right now I have got myself one a hell of a hype going on. So... Gain another, yeah, gain a hype right there. So that's up to, yeah, plus two hype, beautiful. And then finally, add a move to my hand. Well, I kind of may as well use that because uh, it might be something better for only one action point or a freebie. No, it was not. So, okay, that's four, but let's see if it's actually eight. That was, no, only four. So, okay, fine. The double does not carry over between turns. Good thing to know. So he's now starting to earn a bit of hype. That is, uh, that was inefficient hype, to be honest. I've got more hype than him. So now I'm earning four points off a single one, which is pretty good in steel five. Okay, that seems a bit aggressive, to be honest, but it's got to be the right way to go. Yes, yeah, screw it, because that actually puts me overall at effectively plus eight, because he's now uh, three behind where he was. So I'm really sorry. That was mean of me, actually. I'm at seven, which is great. Aha. Now I have got... Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, flipping, yeah. Now we're flipping getting somewhere. So may as well. Then again, I can't. That doesn't help me in any way because I physically can't do finite. But at the bare minimum, it's got to be... Yeah, it's got to be that. And then it's going to be the other, and I can't do the other one anyway. So that's going to be a huge, huge amount of points. Yes, all of the points. Oh, there it is. There's the double. There's the double. I have destroyed you, Gary. I am the king of dance. Now, oh yeah, flipping lovely. Do some extra dancing. Okay, so yes, it's an action pointy, almost like a super friendly Slay the Spire system. Love it. And with that... I have won the dance-off, but in a way, we're all winners. No, no, I don't win. We all win because we were engaged in a really fun dance-off. Now, would I like to get a seed from Lump Stump? I don't know. Is that weird? Because that's like how plants reproduce. So he's effectively offering me sex right now. Is that weird? Good little Lump Stump. You did great. Okay, it seems pretty wholesome. I'm sure it's fine. Oh, I see. I can grow my own lump stump. So I can make my own new friend. Okay, so he is offering me reproduction. Yes, but in a wholesome sort of a way. Also, the mayor likes my dance so much, he's giving me a free house. So, yeah, enjoying this so far. This is lovely. Okay, so there's a flea ball over here. Can I dance with the flea balls? No, it would appear I cannot dance with these flea balls, though they're sort of... To be honest, they're sort of dancing with me anyway, which is, which is lovely. Right, okay, everything's under control, we're fine. Gotta go to my farmhouse, and then I'm guessing we'll be doing a few jobs for the mayor, like cleaning up all of this mess. Okay, when you said farmhouse, I was imagining less of a shack, to be honest, but then I guess it's free, so fair enough. Okay, so I've got the house up here. This is where my decorations and stuff go, my extensions and whatever, because my house is obviously a bit small right now, so I'm guessing we can extend it. And below this line is the diggy bit. So we can do a bit of digging, but it costs energy. Okay, possibly yes, that stuff I got was, uh, that was for me, not for the ooblets. So, okay, plant those uh, sweetie beety seeds from mead. That's these over here. So we're just going to uh, plant. And then we're just going to continue planting. And continue planting. Good. So that's nice. Now you just need to water it. Here's a dribbly can. Okay, this game is aggressively, possibly even excessively cute. Also, the game says I should go to sleep now. But I can't help but notice I haven't actually planted my, my thing yet. I'm planting my friend. So that's a lump seed who's dry. Okay, we're going to give him a bit of a... Bit of a water and uh, yes, I shall have a lump seed tomorrow. Kaboom. Yeah, now, now I've planted my new friend. Now I can go to bed. Okay, following morning, yeah, we got ourselves a storage chest suitcase, basic fold out bed, a tiny, tiny thing on which to not cook ooblets. You don't cook the ooblets, even though that is called oodles, which logically you might think might be made out of ooblets because they do sound very similar. But no, the advantage is I've got a robot ooblet, so I definitely can't eat him. 
Okay, fill up my watering can over there. Then it is time for me. So yes, there we go. I'm aware. Okay, now I've actually got an energy meter. So I need to eat to fill that up. Gotcha. Oh, now this is useful. On the map, yeah, all the people you've met are actually marked on the map so you know where they are at any given moment. That's really bloody good. Though I can't help but notice that there's there's apparently a hot air balloon over in this direction that I would like to... Yes! Yes! Give me a ride! Ah! Can't help you yet. I'm guessing once I've done with the basic quest, this is my fast travel system to go elsewhere. Ah, here's something to do. The mayor. A clicky clause has apparently made Town Hall its home. Okay, I shall go and dance it to not death for you. Okay, into Town Hall we go and... Uh, where is uh, the clicky clause? Oh dear, he looks very grumpy. So, uh, right, we'll be getting you on board. Uh, yes, here we flipping go. We're gonna do this, it's gonna be fine. So, ah, uh, here come the other ooblets to watch. So... Uh, Okay, I do have a times two. Or I could have, yeah, stealing is pointless so far. I had a move to my hand. No, best thing I can do is finite loop into, yeah, the expensive thing that gives me four. Because that's an immediate eight, which is not bad as a starting point. So there we go. Twice up to eight. Yeah, beat that, you stupid loser. So he's going to earn himself some hype. But, honestly, I feel like given he's already half lost, that's... Not a good idea. Could gain a beat, but there's no points to steal, so there's kind of no... Then again, you know what? Let's just actually pull another move in, see what that is before I decide what the right thing to do is. So, that's seven straight away. Okay, you know what? That's worth doing. So, we're just going to get another action point in play. Everybody loves that, and then an immediate seven points. Oh yeah, you're going to be defeated before you even basically get off the starting blocks, you fool. So, oh, oh dear. Only two points, and then earn four. No, I think we just need to get five from this next round. And easy. Flipping easy. Another flip floss, and off we go. Boom. Nothing too complicated so far. Also, I like at the end of the fight, you literally go over to the person you just lost and say, you did a great job regardless, well done. And now I can accept various little quests from her, so... Okay, I feel like uh, mystery cans, that'll be the trash on the ground, right? Well, while I'm passing by, I may as well gather the rest of these cans. Oh yeah, that is eating... Uh, that's eating a lot of energy, as it turns out. And having gathered the cans, I can shove them into this machine, which does uh, something. Oh, my best friend, the person who wears a space helmet is here. Please do not lick the reconstitutor. Okay, this guy is seriously following all the guidance for coronavirus. I love him. Aha, and the reconstitutor is what turns trash into bait, meaning I can catch myself. Oh, water type ooblets. I mean, probably anyway, I'm just guessing here. So, basic bait. Cast, absolutely. And in we go. Come on, Gyarados. Come on, Gyarados. Let's go, Gyarados. And it's a Nerny Bundle, which looks like a pile of trash, but that doesn't necessarily mean it's not a sentient friend. Because Pokemon's had a literal trash bag creature for generations at this point, so don't make assumptions. Okay, next up, find an Aura, fix her press up, and get friendship stickers circulating. Yep, done. And Ara is, aha, all the way up there, gotcha. Though I think the purple marks mean, yes, yeah, something to be done here, so aha. Here we go. We just need to check this on the way. Ara's house, lovely. So, the printy press, here we go. How are we going to fix one of these? Can we dance it better? Okay, specifically she wants six Sporbits, ten Nernies, and a Sweetie BT. Now... Do I have any of those? Because things have odd names. I've got some Nernies uh, and a Quib. Okay, hang on. I can put some of these in. That's fine. So we're halfway to that. That's good. That's going to take a little bit more time to do. I'm going to check in over here because, uh, yeah, the other thing was uh, we need to start a cataloging project. So, yeah, it's time for the flipping Pokedex. Aha! We can actually have a dance-off with these guys. Adorable fluff balls uh, with antlers. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to be... Oh. 
Okay, you can't just dance with whoever you want. You need to actually, uh, yeah, get them on side, sweetie beaties. Oh, I'm growing those back home, yes. Aha, 50 gummies, which I think are the local currency for every unique ooblet. Nice. And there are also rare and shiny versions. Ooh. All right, Sporklet, get in the damn machine. Hopefully this doesn't, like, kill him or anything. Really hope not. Nope, we're good. And I've found a Sporbet. Okay, so I now know what Sporbets are. They're just mushrooms around town. So, okay, that's some good stuff. Just find all the mushrooms. I'm gonna eat a bit of energy to do that, but that's a okay. Just gotta find myself some energy. And hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. What do you guys... Aha! So now I can start dancing with these guys uh, to add them to my team. I'm gonna be honest, you guys are... You guys are pretty cute. But I think I'd rather have... Uh, hang on, you guys are... Yes, you know what? You guys. I've got... No, that's Sweetie BTs rather than the mushroom creatures. Okay, you guys are cute too. I'm having one of you. Because one of you means I get another 50 gold. Right, I need to use Rhythm and Glow this time. Just, yeah, do a couple of basic attacks just to get a bit of stuff going on here. I seem to always get the first attack, which is not attack, John, not Pokemon, not battles. Oh, hang on. She just put a fluster on me. I've been flustered. Does that make me... I think that might make me less powerful. Okay, well, screw you. You're going to fluster me. I'm going to steal all your flipping points, mate. And with this, another dominating victory. The mushroom shall belong to me. Good job, mushroom. Welcome to the team. And I've just leveled up too. What does that actually mean, by the way? Because uh, what do I what do I get? My ego goes up. That sounds bad, but whatever. Aha! New moves that stun target for two turns. That sounds really powerful for only two action points. Right, finish off dropping the springs. Uh, then add some of that. That's right there. Need just one of those beaty sweeties. Uh, two more mushrooms. Come on, there's got to be some more mushrooms around town. And various bits of wood. Chop up planks of wood. Get some good stuff going on here. That was another spore bird. Or possibly like, it's supposed to be like spore bay. Is it like spore and sorbet? Is that the pun? That might be the pun. Okay, I think I've just picked up enough spore bays uh, to wrap this up here. So, okay. Back over here. Drop off the remaining spore bays. If that is the pun, I really hope that's the pun. So I'm committing to it now. And now, back home. Yeah, time for me to go back home because uh, I have got seeds to plant, which would be great. But actually... Check down by the shore, because there's... Ooh. Okay. There's new stuff. That is a wiggle whip. All right. What do you want, by the way? You want carrots. All right. Don't have any of that. What's this, by the way? A sea plop. That sounds unpleasant, but... Oh. Okay. Is that... Is that a dumb bird? I want a dumb bird. I need some... All right. Some moosers to make that happen. Okay, okay, where do I get them from? Because seriously, I want one at this point. I want a dumb bird on my team. The dumb bird speaks to me. Also, I just found a note saying the incidentals remain unalerted to the presence, operations continuing as planned. Okay, there's something a bit sinister going on here, apparently. Okay, well, one of the uh, shops off the town centre is, uh, yeah, right here, the cafe. Any chance I could buy some food off you? That's a... Wow! 80 gummies just for espresso. No thank you. Aha! The old woman, her shop on the far side of town on the far left. Yeah. She'll sell me what I need. So I will be buying a handful of them, actually. Yes. And I think someone needed a Karoot as well. So we'll be buying... I think we needed three of them. So buy them two. Okay. We should have what we need here. That's... Wow. A shiny watering can. Don't feel like I need that, to be honest. We're good for now. Okay, back home, though. Back home. How are we doing over here? Seriously, we should be... We should be about good. Oh, 0.25 days. The lump stump is almost ready to go. And don't forget as well, yeah, we've got some basic planting to do of day-to-day uh, -day seeds as well. So, yeah, we'll keep the actual... Uh, the plants we want to eat over on that side and the people we want to be friends with on this side and try not to get them too confused. Also, you can find nernies and rocks laying around your farm. Okay, including... Wow! Okay, glad I checked my flipping uh, post box there. 
So, Nerny's in, in rocks. Can I just hit the rock with... Aha! I can. Just be careful I don't fall asleep or anything. And uh, there we go. And I got a new badge for some reason. Hello. You're a giant fish with a crown. Oh, it was just delivering me a message. Got it. From the mayor telling me about stuff that was going on. So, okay. Okay, 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 okay. There's five there. Just need a little bit more in the way of slurry. Let's do a bit more fishing. Need to find one more branch. All right. You know what? I think it might be time for me to have a bit of a nap. Now. Now, 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 my friend. It is time for us to... Oh my goodness, I've got my own lumpy stump. He's completely hideous and I love him. And now he's gonna follow me round. Okay, so just top up the watering can. Make sure we've done our watering for the day. Everything needs to be, you know, nice and not dry. Alright, Lumpy Stump, first things first, we're shoving you in the Pokedex machine. There we go, cold hard cash for ooblets, love it. Ah, hang on, I see. So, inland, the yeah, these guys. Whereas down on the shore, the dumb birds seem to be, yeah, they're blue. I think I prefer the blue ones on balance, and yeah, now I just need one sweetie beauty for you. Also, hello. I'm not sure I've seen one of you before, but you might be owned, so you don't count as me seeing you. Oh, I see. She's going to rip me off by selling me the seeds I need for cloth plants. Got it. Okay. Well, in that case, I have some produce I've just been picking off the ground, including a hat. Borgus. No one really seems to care about that, so I'll sell you some of that. Because, yeah, I need, uh, I need cloth. Like, so much cloth. So, here, have all the trash I've been picking up. And that will get me, yeah, all I need uh, in terms of cloth plants. Beautiful. I mean, it would have been lovely to buy that basic bum bag, but not today. And, of course, the furniture shop's where you get really flipping ripped off. So, uh, basic furniture. All absolutely fine, but perhaps more of interest, she sells houses. Bigger and bigger houses. And a crafting table for... Ooh. Okay. I'll take a little bit of wooden path. Also, I did indeed put that path down, so now I could, yes, very briefly go faster. Also, I get myself an extra something for doing a lot of planting from the mayor, which is really nice of her. So there we go, got myself a badge. And some wishes. Okay, I think the game said I could actually turn those in over at the wishing well. Okay, that's a fountain, not a well, but apparently it does the job anyway, and... Uh, okay, more, aha! New creatures uh, will move into town. I can wish for more friends, which is... This game's so damn lovely. Uh, okay. Mead seeds expansion. More seeds I can buy. Basic sprinkler. So, ooh. Automatic watering. That does sound good. But, more friends sounds good as well. You know what? Both. We're going to be having both, damn it. Need nurnies, clothlets, and rain plops for that. Okay. Not sure what a rain plop is, but at the bare minimum, I can make myself... Yes, some more path. Boom. Now I can sprint, kind of. It's a very awkward kind of sprinting, but it'll do, I guess. And yes, any moment now. So soon. So, so soon. You know what? Let's just go to bed. All right, it'll be done in the morning, probably. Oh, here we go. That evening, I now have a Fleeble. Yes, Fleebles. Boom. They have arms. They're just quite small. That's fair enough. No problem. And... A Clicky Claws, who seems miserable as sin. But he did just produce some heart, so I'm getting mixed signals here. And in the post, no bills. Instead, people just sent me a carrot cake, which is great, because carrot cake's delicious. And on top of that, yeah, new quests. So now we have got ourselves uh, something. We have got to make some bulk orders uh, for plenies. What does that... What does that mean precisely? Why is there a man in a vending machine? Aha, that's what's going on here. These guys will buy stuff for good money, gotcha. So honestly, yeah, the wood, uh, that's easy. I'll accept that, that's no problem. I can make wood in no time whatsoever. All I need to do after all is uh, break the heck out of some stuff. There we go. 
Let's just get some more flipping planks going on here. So there we go. Complete that. Super easy money. And next up, yeah, you want yourself a giant pile of carrots and a giant pile of muses, whatever those are precisely. So let's start off with the carrots. Because that, that should be manageable. Because all we need to do really is, oh, hello. You guys are new. So, dance, what do you guys want? You want a quib tart. Okay, so the new stuff's fussy. What about you guys? You want some oodles. Okay, I know I can make oodles, I just don't know precisely how. Okay, the point is, I am now flipping loaded. So as a result of being loaded, I can buy the seeds I need. Oh, flip, she's only got 10 carrot seeds. Oh, well, that's no good at all. I need more than that. Come on, this is no good. Oh, here we go. My first carrots are ready. But carrots in hand. Who wanted carrots? Somebody wanted carrots. Possibly it's the dumb bird. If it's the dumb bird, I'm going to be really happy. So what the hell are you? There's something on top of there and I don't know what it is. Right, I think it might be a dumb bird. Maybe it was you, weird... Oh, it was the weird, stupid French fry creatures. That's less good, to be honest, but... Okay, I'll have one of you rather than not crazy French fry packets, people. Oh, but he's got friends. He actually... He's got friends with him. Okay, am I allowed to send my entire... Okay, we're sending the entire squad in. Apparently, this is a four versus four battle. That's... That's not what I was expecting, but... Okay... Okay, add a move to my hand. Clicky Claws up first, but he doesn't have anything particularly good. That's a hype. That's a beat. That's... That's just a point. He can just do a magical grumpy mamba, and he just gets himself a point for free. Okay, gain a beat, because you don't need to, to be honest. Gain some hype. That's the priority. Gain the hype first, because once you've got hype going up, yeah, all of a sudden, you can get uh, three points for only a single energy. Which is not bad at all. So, uh, that will do as a starting point. Sadly, I have no way of drawing more with this guy. So, you are doing six points and two hype. That's not bad. He actually got... He got some good stuff going on. Okay. Possibly they're higher level than me. Right. What do we need to do here? I could steal some points. That wouldn't be so bad. That's worth a lot of points. I'd rather steal the points. Because uh, stealing is effectively eight. Then again... That's 8-2. But, hmm. Okay. I could add, but I don't need to add. Yeah, you know what? Screw it. Do a bit of stealing. We're going to steal some of their thunder. Take five points. That's going to put us in a decent enough position for now. But really, I need my robot with his double ability. Because he's, uh, he's really good. So that is uh, six points. Yeah, they're gaining points fast because they've got more hype than me. And that is, oh, that's a lot of points. Oh, this is, uh, this is a concern, and uh, add a fluster. Okay, this is all uh, very interesting. I think I'm drawing, like, a joint deck from everybody. So, uh, this fight's going on a bit. An extra hype wouldn't be terrible. That's four points and a hype. Okay, you know what? That's, that's good. Anything we can do to get more hype going on. We need all of that, and uh, more hype right there. Maybe I do, yeah, another hype. Right there. More hype. Flipping stack all of the hype. That's now five points for just one. Which is not terrible. Maybe a fluster would be a better bet. Just to slow them down a bit. Or I could just take... No, I'm just going to take five points. Unfortunately, they're going to earn more than five points on their next round. So, I need something amazing this round. That is... Uh, Three trepidations. Okay, they've spent a bit of time adding some trash to my deck. And, uh, yeah, there it is. They're filling my deck with a bit of trash. There's Finite Loop. Okay, that's... That's enough to win. That's enough to win right there. So now we're just going to activate Finite Loop, which is spectacular. My robot finally kicked in and uh, put down roots. That is uh, six and one times two. So six points. Hype, and then possibly like seven points because the hype's now up to four. And boom. There you flipping go. So mass dance off means everybody gains XP. So that's definitely a good idea. Aha. And the thing I thought was a windmill is actually a tower that's got some monsters in it. Sorry, they're not monsters. They're ooblets. It's fine. We like them. 
Oh, here we go. Following morning, things looking good. Now, now I've got what I need. I have got Sweetie BTs. I have got Muses. And it's raining, so I assume, yeah, I don't need to bother watering anything today. Oh, rain. Rain is good. And I've received a cruncher in the mail. I think it needs to... Yeah, over here will do fun. All right, so that's how I make things like, say, flour. But, okay, so we've got to the part of the game like Pokemon does very quickly, where actually the wholesome adventure becomes slavery. Because now I need to get one of my uh, ooblets to just basically, uh, yeah, work grinding stuff into flour, which is hard physical labor that they're going to be doing and I'm not. Okay, today's the moment. All right, we got ourselves. Yes. Okay, this is what we're doing. We're giving these birds, they're bringing friends, send in the team. I am getting myself a dumb bird. This is very important to me. So, okay, on this occasion, we've not drawn any special cards, which is uh, not spectacular. Honestly, may as well just gain a beat, because that's just a total flipping freebie right there. And then, uh, I mean, try adding a move to my hands. Though, to be honest, I'm probably just going to use the three and the two, unless a better two shows up. And... Uh, that's a hype. Yeah, gaining a hype right at the beginning of the battle. May as well get a sword stance off right now. So that lets me do, uh, yeah, flip floss for eight. That's not terrible. A hype and eight will do for our first turn. Yeah, right now they're doing ones and ones. So that's garbage. That's total garbage. Then they're, excuse the flip out of me. Okay, that's fine. I've also got gain two points for free. Honestly, the fact that Grumpy Guy gains a plus two for free, because, yeah, that's plus one by default, but combine that with some hype, that's... that's not bad. And screw you, you guys are having a fluster. All right, we're going to make this all nasty-like, and I can also... Yeah, you know what? You attacked me. I think I'm going to be having them points straight back. Thank you. Screw you, basically. May as well use this, because it might be a freebie as comes up if I get lucky. And it was not. That's a shame. Still, I've got the hype right there. And that means, yes, permanent minus one. They just waste an action point gaining nothing. And they're going for a stun. Is that my entire team you're going for with the stun? Oh, this is, this is not good right there. And I don't know. Ah, okay, you're stunned. So it's just one person. Presumably, he doesn't draw his special abilities. Oh, here we go. Here we flipping go. So, uh, finite loop. Unfortunately, that's not much, to be honest. Um, gain a hype. It's probably a good idea. But, no. Add a move. If I can get a really good move in my hand at the same time as I get... No, that's just hype, hype, and more hype, unfortunately. Okay. I may as well get my hype level up to 2, which is good. Then I can just do... That's a freebie. So I may as well do that now the hype's up. Because, yeah, at that point, that's actually really good. Hype plus that guy, that works. Then I can just find that loop into this basic attack. But that's worth eight. That's eight points for one action points. That's actually really good right now. We are slaughtering the dumb birds at the minute. Oh, look at that. This is just embarrassing for them. And... Uh, Okay, the AI doesn't really seem to acknowledge that they've been bamboozled because they're wasting a lot of time on that nonsense. And, uh, oh my, is that by any chance going to be? Oh, I think it is. Right, okay, I think I know what we're doing. Up to six. Gain myself a free hype right now, which is a spec flipping tacular. Finite loop is a brilliant, brilliant ability. And then uh, at that point, oh my. Is that going to be 20 points off a single attack? I think it flipping is. Boom. And everybody levels up to Lump Stump. He's going to learn possibly something. What have you got, my friend? You've now got six points and two hype. That's, that's all right. That's pretty good as your special ability. Flea Ball. You've got the ability to stun. And I'm liking your ability to stun. His stun is good. And Clicky Claws, yeah, your free points. I'm liking your free points. That's good stuff too. So what else can you do, my friend? Hopping Mad, gain a hype for only one. Hype for one is... That's decent. 
that is actually pretty darn decent. So we will be taking a dumb bird seed right there. Oh, don't look so nervous. It's fine. You did a good job. I love you. By the way, are you going to lay like an egg? Because presumably... No, everything's a plant. Even the birds and the robots. It's all very odd. Here's what I want to see. You guys. Yeah, these little guys are adorable. So uh, we'll be having them, please. Yes, they are cute as anything. So, okay, they've got a double stun in their team. Which worries me a little, but I'm sure we'll be fine. And here we go. Straight the flip away. I've actually got... Wow. Okay, these are a bit too cheap cards, actually. But straight away, get off a cheap hype. Clicky Claws is doing its thing. That means that is two free points ear flipping immediately. Good job there, Clicky Claws. And at that point, yeah, just finite loot. The robot ability is really strong. By the way, straight into the beautiful five points times two there. Strokes 12. Oh, yeah, we are going to... We are gonna slaughter these bastards. Don't even need that. Don't have enough uh, points in play. So that is uh, not spectacular. I would love to screw them over with the stun. The fact they've got double stun ability worries me. But no, instead, they're going for three and hype. Okay. I could slightly screw them over here. You know what? Do it. Steal some points. That's going to be a good thing to do. So that's 3 to 16. I've only got 2 left. May as well get... Actually, it would be better for me to go for double 1. Because, uh, yeah, that when you're boosting cheap attacks with height, they actually become more valuable than the more expensive ones. Because it's a plus 1, not a percentage. So, okay. Basically, yes. You guys have been annihilated. But I'd like to see what your special ability is, if you wouldn't mind. But as it's a team battle, unfortunately, it's not coming up. Here we go. Here comes the Fluster. Loving the Fluster, but that's actually too hype. I mean, too hype is... It's too good to not do, to be honest. Like, a plus two to hype, that's great right there. I mean, that means the free ones are now... That's it, we've won. We've won off two basic cheap lands right there. Oh, this is... This is good. I'm actually liking this team. This team's working really well. And Blorklet gets a new ability. So increases opponent's beat cost by one per move for the rest of... Wow, the entire battle. That's vicious. I love you, you little robot bastards. And while I'm here, the one sweetie BT. And with that, friendship stickers shall soon return. Boom. Okay, so Wiggle Wimp and Dumb Bird and Clomper are all now growing. But I'm feeling good about this team. I'm feeling fine with this team, actually. Together with, yeah, a whole bunch of stuff growing nice and fast here. So, it's time. It's time for us to take on the ultimate challenge. The Windmill of Death. It's flipping time. We're going to go in and we're going to kick some serious ass. Oh, it's a clomper together with two of those bad beetle creatures. So I'm assuming I'm only allowed to bring in... Yeah, okay. I can only bring in a certain number of people. I'm so sorry, Lumpy Stump, but you're hideous and I don't like you anymore. Okay, here we go. Here we flipping go. So, uh, yeah, we've got ourselves uh, targets. We've got ourselves... Oh, I don't even... I don't even need this. This is too cheap. My hand is too cheap right now. So I may as well do a stun and... Let's stun you in case your abilities are super powerful. Uh, don't really know, but whatever. And then we can just get some uh, some free beats and some free... Oh, this is, this is a low-scoring first round for me. I'm worried about that. That concerns me a lot. Just two points right there. That's, that's no good. That's no good. Lumpy Stump would never have allowed this to happen. So two points there, and they've still got... Yeah. They've taken an early lead here. Just wait for the special abilities to show up here. This is fine. Everything is... Uh, everything's okay there. Wow. Okay. They just destroyed us. I can stun a target for two turns, but that's more... That's only good when the hype goes up, to be honest. And right now I've got... Okay. I've only got four points. Gaining a hype is not a bad idea. Yeah, you know what? Do it. Gain a hype right now. Don't bother with the stun. Instead, go for... Yeah, take the five points. All right, let's just take some points here. Let's take some points going on. I want at least something happening right now. That's a freebie. That's not bad. I like having the freebies. They're good. 
but I need to get some hype up and uh, adding moves. Okay, fair enough. Then they have no hype. They've got no hype at all right now. Yeah, they're wasting their time. When you've got no hype, the cheap cards are kind of garbage. All right, that's three points for only six. So that is not very good. And a yes, fluster. Because they're using cheap trash cards. So the fluster will destroy them. This is good. And if I just use rhythm and grow, I can actually have myself. Yeah, I can use the full hand. Good. Good, good, good. So... Steal some points. Don't need to do any of that. In fact, I may as well use this first, just in case something better shows up. And it's going to be... Okay, stun for one. Add Fluster. I mean, I want to keep the Mushroom here just for Fluster. Fluster is spectacularly powerful. Don't bother with the stun. Instead, yeah, steal. So that is uh, 9 to 11. I've got a Hype. They've got a Fluster. So right now, they're not doing bad. But it's going to start going wrong for them. Very fast. Okay, they've counteracted my fluster with a hype, and they're stealing a random signature. Okay, that's your special ability. Oh, they can fluster me. That's pretty much as bad as it could get, dear oh flippin' dear. And, uh, well, this is no good at all. Okay, I need something expensive. I've been drawing cheap cards this whole battle. That's why I've been screwed over. That's... That's a hype. I mean, a hype's not bad, but then... Oh, hang on. No, I know what we need to do. Right, we're finite looping into double hype. Okay, that's not bad. Two hype for three action points. I know I'm going to be falling behind, but it's worth it. It's going to be worth it right there. So, yeah, end the turn. Hopefully, they don't try and fluster me again. I'm now miles ahead of them on the hype train. And gosh darn it, they're adding more flusters and stealing points too. I'm a little bit worried about this actually yeah you know what that's gotta be worthwhile let's just get an eight right there let's just get some points in i've got the hype just focus on getting some points because uh, yeah the little basic attacks are actually not so bad once you get the hype up what are you gonna do uh, stealing points again that's a concern oh this is this is actually dicey they're adding more and more flusters what a bunch of gits we're now on a level playing field Okay, we finally drew Machine Spurning, but it's a bit too late in the match for that, to my mind. So, then again, I could do it and then still get off the basic attack. Yeah, you know what, sure. Let's do that. Let's get that underway. So there's plenty of hype going on, but a bit of fluster too. So basically, screw you guys. You guys are now going to have less action points the entire rest of the match. Admittedly, they are ahead of us right now. They've been flustering like crazy. Both of the Beatles have the fluster ability. I like those guys. So that's now, yeah, two for two. Oh dear. Oh flipping dear. That doesn't work for you at all, does it? No. Now you're spending a lot of time just getting out basic trash attacks. Okay. That was worth it. So now we have got ourselves... I could double the hype. That's... Oh, I've got, like, no points coming in. What the hell is this? Okay, I could double fluster them. Yes, double fluster. Okay, activate finite loop. Now we double fluster them. And basically, screw you, you stupid decks. So you can now have as many flusters as I've got. So, yeah, I think we just moons them, actually. Good, 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 good. So they are now flustered for crazy... And we can stun one of them so they can stop flustering me because he's the one with the fluster attack. So that means less chance of fluster showing up and uh, more hype. So I'm back off neutral just in case the other one flusters. But I'm getting like no points in right now. They're trying to boost hype, but they've still got more flusters. Oh, they did nothing. They couldn't do a thing. Oh, this is... Okay, that's four points steal. That's not bad. And I can hype before that. Uh... That's probably for the best. Yeah, additional hype. Wow, there is so much hype and so much fluster on the field right now. It's crazy. Steal five points. That's good. That's good. Okay, so we've just swapped position and they are still really flustered. They're going to try and steal back, but that's so expensive right now. Level playing field. There we go. Finally, the marginal mamba is going to start doing some stuff. And seriously, I don't have enough damage in this right now. I'm gaining... I'm getting too many special cards and not enough straight up damage ones. So, uh, honestly, just toss everything. Toss everything at them. More flusters. Screw you. They're basically incapacitated right now. Cards are more expensive and they're not doing anything. Wow, this is... This is the final round. Uh-oh! Um, that's a concern. I wasn't realising that there was 
Oh dear, I might actually lose this. I might actually lose this just because don't let them steal. Try and stop them stealing. All I get is this one card. I've been drawing so badly in terms of straight up damage. If they... Oh, flat. They're gonna win. If they do anything good, but I've really crippled them as best I can. What are they gonna do? They're getting beats. If they get anything out... No, they couldn't afford anything! Yes, I crippled them enough. They were so flustered. They couldn't do a thing worth a point. Boom! Oh, that was... That was an intense dance-off. Okay. And it would appear there are more towers that need to be cleared. So, okay. The towers are kind of like gyms, I guess. They're kind of like the town gym. And there we go. That There's the intro to the game. Because now I need to go over to the next town and clear out their gym too. So, uh, head in there. Clear out the gym leader. Slowly reconnect the Ubernet. And with that, yes, we have got ourselves three new friends currently in production. They'll be done tomorrow, so I could just sleep straight to tomorrow. So yeah, there's no, like, uh, real-world timers in this game. You can just sleep to whenever you want to, because there's no, like, hunger or thirst or anything. So, uh, yeah, if you want to, just go to sleep to make time pass in a hurry. There doesn't seem to be any reason not to do that. We have got farming to do. We have got orders to fulfill, missions, etc., etc., etc. But you know what, ladies and gentlemen? I think you get the point. This here is Ooblets and... Uh, it's like if Pokemon and Animal Crossing had a baby. And uh, I'm gonna be honest, I do kind of like it. It really does appeal. Somehow Animal Crossing just kind of didn't click for me. I had a nice time while I was playing it, but I never really felt the urge to go back and play it some more. Possibly because, yeah, the real-time element meant that it was just a little bit too slow pace for me. But uh, Ooblet doesn't have that. Ooblet, you can just sleep, move to the next day straight on with your business. So, okay... I'm liking this. This is some good, fun, wholesome stuff. I mean, it's simple, so it's not going to be for everybody. But, uh, yeah, for me right now, when I'm in the right mood on the right day, this could be just the flipping thing. So, okay, we might see a bit more of this. We'll have to see. Could be a good live stream or something. Keep your eye out. Might well be seeing a bit more of it. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been many a true nerd. And this has been the utterly delightful Ooplets. Thank you very much, and goodbye. Oh, also, apparently you've either got a girlfriend or a daughter. Hopefully That's a girlfriend. girlfriend. Really, hopefully a girlfriend. No! Stop walking around! Just, just stay still! Just, just stay still! I st don't know! Stop doing laundry! There we go! How are you so bad at escaping from prison?